Hey everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. This is my second layout for the month for the Simple Stories creative team. And once again, I'm using the Gather Together Simple Set for this. And I'm gonna be scrapbooking these two pictures of my grandmother and my daughter. And this is from a couple months ago. They were just sitting on the couch. It was someone's birthday and we were having a party. And so uh, they were sitting together on the couch and it was just a sweet moment and I had to get pictures of it. So I've already used this collection for one layout and I'm gonna do some fussy cutting for this layout. I love this little group of scribbly hearts. So I'm gonna cut that out and use that as an embellishment somewhere on this page. And at this point, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do exactly. I know that I'm gonna create my own background here in a second, but I went through the stickers and I went through the papers. And if you're not familiar with the simple sets, with simple stories, they're, they're small collections. You get uh, six different pattern papers, uh, three front and back, so you get six patterns, and then you get that little uh, small sticker sheet. And so this one is centered around Thanksgiving dinner, and I don't really have a lot of pictures of Thanksgiving dinner, so I just decided to make a page about something that I'm thankful for. So I did my fussy cutting. I know I'm going to use those hearts some way, somehow, but I'm going to make a background here and check out this stencil. It is so used. It is. I, I am terrible with cleaning things the way I should, um, and I actually cut this out. It's it's a part of a bigger stencil, but I never use the other part of it. I, I just use this lined part of it a lot, so I just cut it out to make it a little less bulky and big. And I'm going to come in with some uh, shimmers here that match the colors in this collection. This is a Dazzlers, and I filmed this a while ago. I think this is called, it's something brick. The word brick is in it, and it's a gritty texture paste. So you get this beautiful color and shimmer with this really cool gritty texture in it. And it's like a burnt red color, and uh, it's perfect for this collection. And I'm just trying to create some, a uh, little bit of texture with a little bit of color on the background. This is one of the new Dazzlers colors, and it's called Leafy Greens. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the names of these. If you want to know the names of any of these for sure, let me know, and I will definitely look them up for you. But I've already put them all up. And, uh, of course, my brain is not cooperating. Anyway, so I've got some really nice texture here. And some of it's gritty. The green one that I just used was a smooth texture paste. And now I decide to bust out the gold Heidi Swap Color Shine. Because I wanted some uh, really sparkly, shimmery gold. And I just hadn't used it in a while. And I thought it would be fun to mix and match with the shimmers here. And I'm just going to do the packaging technique here. Such a pretty color. I know probably everybody watching this has used gold color shine at some point in their life, and you know how amazing it is. And I'd actually, I don't think I've really ever done the packaging technique with the color shine before, and it worked out pretty well. So I decided to add in a little bit of an orange flare since there is orange in the collection. This is an orangey yellowish color. It looks really yellow from here, but um, it's got more of an orange tint to it in person. I know my lights are really bright. So I know my pictures are going to go in a, a horizontal, you know, side by side. So I'm trying to put all of this color to where it's going to come out from behind the pictures. So I needed more color is what I decided. So I'm going to come in with a little bit more. This is a pinkish reddish color. It's called Blushing Bride and it is beautiful. It has gold powders in it. And so when it dries, it's got this gorgeous gold shimmer to it. But it's perfect for fall. All of these colors are perfect for a fall related project. And all of these colors are in this collection. I believe that is a brown color called Hot Fudge. Beautiful color. Okay, so I've got my background going on here. And I like to bring the pictures back and forth and just to see what it looks like at different points to make sure that you can see all the colors. I decided I need a little more brown showing. So I just add a little bit more of that in there. And this is a really 
fun and easy way and relatively quick way to make your own background. I love all the different shimmers. Okay, so I'm gonna jazz up the, the uh, layering here and just use some tissue paper. I do this quite a lot and uh, it's a pretty easy way to add a little subtle layer behind your pictures without being too too bright or too um, distracting I guess. So I decided so my pictures are going to be horizontal I'm going to try to make everything that comes underneath the pictures more of like a into a vertical down to those hearts. I'm going to add a little bit of pattern paper behind the pictures and uh, I'm going to go through there's not really any solids in this collection and so I'm going to go into the cut aparts and use the solid bits and pieces from these cards. Like I love that orange color so I'm just going to use the part of it that's in that's part of that card or that cut apart piece. And I've got some green going over on the right And this is an off-white, more of a tan cream color. And I just want a little bit of interest and a little bit of color. And uh, these papers behind the pictures are also going to help separate the pictures from the background and give them a solid border so they stand out a little bit more. And that plaid is really busy, but I'm going to use a little bit of it. I just tear a piece off and I'm going to use it uh, kind of peeking out from beneath the pictures and I think kind of ties all those colors together and I think you know both of the layouts that I've made using this collection for this month shows you that just because a, a collection is themed for one certain thing there are definitely ways to make it work for you that don't necessarily have anything to do with a theme it's fun to challenge yourself, you know, to use a collection or an embellishment or a paper or a color scheme in a different way than it was intended. And this is my little edge distressing, distressing tool. I've had it for a long time. You just kind of run it through the edges or run it on the edges of your paper and it'll kind of uh, ruffle it up a little bit. So I know that this is going to be my title. I'm going to use that sticker perfect for a title and see all these stickers you got the turkey you got the pie you got the cornucopia and none of that is really going with what I'm doing here so I'm going to use a little piece up at the top that says blessed and then I decide to go for a cut file this is a couple hours later this is from the just Nick store and I don't know what made me think of adding in a cut file but I saw it, I found it, I loved it, I cut it on white cardstock, and I just think it adds the perfect touch to this. It just felt like it was missing something, and this is perfect for this, I think. Now, I cut it in green also. This is from one of the pattern papers, because I wanted to leave the circle part white, but the, the leaves needed to be green. And so I cut it twice, and all I'm doing is cutting the circle part off of the green, and I'm going to glue it to the white part because I feel like the leaves need to be green because they're leaves <laughs> no other reason but that and I, I like the fact that it gives some more green to the page and I, I have a feeling I'm going to be using this cut file a lot because you could make it smaller you could make it bigger Oh my goodness, there's a lot you could do with this. It's so pretty. And this was easy to do. I'm just trimming off all the unnecessary parts here and then I'm just gluing it down. I thought about painting it, but I wanted to use more of the pattern paper and that green color is really nice for leaves. And plus adding the green on top of the white, you know, gives it a little more depth. It makes it a little thicker and just gives a little more interest to the design. Okay, so I'm going to add that. I love how that looks. I think that just really added something to the page. 
Now I've got a lot of green going over there on the right photo because I had put the green layer in and then decided to do this green so it's just too much green. So all I'm going to do is trim the green layer down just a little bit and then add this lightish, lightish, did I just say lightish? Light cream off white color. So now there's not as much green touching. There, and I like that a lot. When in doubt, add a cut file somewhere. So I think this just, just ties it all together. It helps kind of put the focus on the photos. It kind of brings them in and gives them a place to stay. Now what I'm doing here is adding a little bit of the gold color shine to the circle. You can't really tell here, but uh, I just wanted to give it a little bit of a tint of gold. And so it's just a light brush of that color on there. And now that I've got everything where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and glue the leaf circle down because I am going to come in and stitch through it in just a second. And I'm going to use brown thread, I believe. Yes, I used brown thread and very carefully just went around and stitched through the circle part. And it kind of emphasizes the circle a little bit more. And I haven't really stuck any of that other stuff down yet, so it keeps moving around on me. But I just wanted to make sure that that's exactly where I wanted it to go. So before I stick my pictures down, I'm going to come in with some thread, and I believe that is brown. Yes, and I added some over to the right and some down underneath the, uh, the scribbly hearts before I stuck that down. And then I decided up at the top was missing a little bit of that red color since I had some down at the bottom. So I'm just going to take my brush and add a little bit in here and there just to contrast since I've got so much green going on now. And I know I've said this before, but that's the thing when you do a mixed media background is sometimes it gets covered up and um, I like for it to show. Even though it does, you know, a lot of it does get covered up, I want to make sure you're able to see it. Otherwise, what's the point? And I did get a little bit of that red on the picture on the edge there, but you can't really tell. So I just want to blend that a little bit more, so I just use my water brush. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned I did not use any gesso or anything like that on this page. I just went for it. So this is the gold again, and I'm just going to add a little bit of splattering outside the circle. And then I'm going to come in with hearts. That's one thing I did love about this collection, or another thing I loved about this collection was cute little hearts and matching colors. And I'm just going to add a couple overlapping there and then come in with some of these little sentiment stickers family memories and another heart and I added that little feather there in between the pictures just to give it a little bit of a pop of orange there just to separate the pictures since there's so much gray and black tones going on in the pictures I had a little bit of journaling there on the bottom left and I did add the date stamp and I did some stitching on those scribbly hearts, but that's the final layout. I really love how this turned out. I think the cut file really made a big difference. I think it all came together once I added that in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. It was a fun challenge to try something different uh, with a collection that wasn't my normal, no, my normal color scheme or things like that. But I really like how this turned out. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.